Vive Ronaldo! It's it, it's match day. Welcome to Adam Matic TV. It is match day vlog time. Just heading into, of course, pre match meal time. Mackey D's, Alfie. Mm. Gonna win some Mono uh, Monopoly, yeah? Obviously. Monopoly. I'm here with Alfie and Nico today. We're just heading down for our pre match meal now. It's me, Ant, uh, my brother. We'll see you know what I mean by that. Uh, and talk over. What well, is going to go down today? I've already done my road trip vlog with the United Stand. Do check that out. That's on the United Stand channel right now. On my thoughts on exactly what is going to happen today, how we're going to approach this game, who Ollie's going to pick, who I can see Ollie picking, who I want picking. Totally different things, obviously. But no, the excitement is building. We just drove out of our area, part life madness over in Manchester, over to Old Trafford madness because. Already just under three hours away from kickoff, it is mental out here. There's fans all over the place already, the traffic's already hammered. The excitement level is just off the scale right now today. Listening to the radio coming in, it's all talk about Ronaldo and what it means. Stations interviewing fans outside the ground already. It's just going to be one of them days where, you know what, in the end, people will probably forget about the result because it's Ronaldo's return but in reality this is another game for United and it's massive it's important I just said this on my road trip vlog it's massive for Ollie because he's got so many quality players to juggle now so yeah we're going to head down oh I'm in the wrong lane sorry people uh, carry on uh, Mackie's is this way yeah <laughs> starving anyway we're going to get into Mackie's now I'll join you back there and we'll talk over and see what the guys see what Alfie thinks going to go down today. Birthday weekend for you as well mate. Yeah. Yeah, Ronaldo hat trick for your birthday. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, man of many words as always. Right, Mackie's golden arches are right in front of me, so it's time. <laughs> Mackie's in the Bel Air <laughs> crew today. <laughs> we have got full lineup of people today. Everyone buzzing for the return of Ronnie. Is he going to play or what? Uh, <laughs> He's got to run it. He's got to start him, surely. You'll see my face in about well, about two minutes after I finish this segment, probably. When the team actually drops, and you'll know straight away if Ronaldo's starting or not. But yeah, he's got to start. Nico Alfie. Yeah. The fancy in today. We're winning or what? Score is it? 4 nil. 3 nil. How many Ronaldo scoring? 2. Grace, Grace, and Ronaldo today. Uh, a brace for running. Score. I'm going 5-1. Five, 5-1. One. Five, one. Newcastle scoring? Yeah, yeah. That's shallow. They ain't got Wilson today, you know. No, I just, I just feel like they're going to sleep. Get a nice uh, consolation. 5-0. 5-1. 4-0. Elfie? 5-0. Cricket scores today. Now the cricket got cancelled, which should have been played just down the road. They're actually, you imagine what brain dead idiot organises England v India in the cricket at Old Trafford Cricket Ground, full house, 20 odd thousand, next to United versus Newcastle, return of Ronaldo, 75,000. There'd have been over 100,000 people around a half a mile radius of Old Trafford because the cricket ground is like a stone's throw from the football ground. I tell you what, can you imagine if that was on today? We'd never get here. And that just shows you Old Trafford Council, Old Trafford Council, Manchester Council, whatever it was, organisation. And yeah, why don't you just throw Park Life on at the same time <laughs> down the road, all in one day? Mental round in Manchester right now, but I've just ordered some more mozzarella sticks and nug nugs. So I'm going to chomp on them and then head down to Old Trafford. So I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> Stop, 
can't drop him. No. Talking about dropping Greenwood, he's not been dropped. Sancho starts, Ronaldo starts, Greenwood starts, Pogba and Matic, Bruno in front, full back four, Jair in goal, and no. No, Donny. Donny, I think Donny's on the bench. Oh, exciting. TJ, TJ, Ronaldo starts, mate, buzzing. Yeah, of course, man. It's the first time I've seen him since I've watched him when I was a little kid on TV, so That's I'm it. happy, isn't it? That's it. And Ronaldo's in, dream team's looking good. Ronaldo's coming back, he's coming back. Come yes. on! Alpha, Ronnie, we having that? Yes. Yes. Yes, say it, mate. Buzzing, man. I'm in. buzzing. Hey, Ronaldo's we're all back. here. Ronaldo's back, mate. We are what heading in. What we're heading in. That is a. What Ollie nailed it, he nailed the line up, he nailed it. Nico, happy with that, mate? Buzzing. Buzzing. Here we go, right, we're going to head into the ground, guys. I'll see you inside. Let's do it. Even Ronaldo. <laughs> Castle out. I doubt it. I think they'll just bit damage limitation and still hold for the same. So we'll see. We'll see what Ollie does second half. If there's any changes, but I think now it should play into our advantage a bit more now. But it all depends on Newcastle how they want to play it now. So Ronaldo's done it, mate. Yeah. That was it, wasn't it? Nico, that was about it, wasn't it, mate? Yeah. yeah. It was very, very slow and lethargic again. Very similar to the last two games, to be honest, but we've got the goal this time, and hopefully, it can bring us out a little bit in the second half, ease the nerves if there is any still there, and put this game to bed. Like I said, we have to. So, second half, let's hope we get exactly that because as long as it goes 1 0, I think more nerves will creep in. The few players not quite on it today as well, but we'll save full analysis for after the game, so let's see what happens.
camera a little bit. Oh, spin it back. There you go, I'm back. That wasn't easy, was it? <laughs> well, I don't know if you watched the game or have you seen it. Uh, I said, coming here, I said I wanted us to control the game. I wanted United to be relaxed in the last 10 minutes. We kind of was in the end, but only through a bit of brilliance from Bruno. We struggled again, big time in that game. Long, long periods of just no penetration. I'm not looking like we're going to create anything. And in the end, it took some more individual brilliance. I just said it in my United Stand Match Day vlog there. Without Ronaldo, would we have won that game? That's what you've got to ask yourself. We can't be solely reliant on Ronaldo. And today, I think, you know what? Without him, I don't think we win the game. Think we may be scraping it. We shouldn't be saying that. Do you know what I mean? We should not be saying that. We should be being able to beat that poor Newcastle team without him. But, again, if he wasn't there today, I don't think that would have happened. He took his chance, he's there when he needed it, and that's why Ronaldo will be the difference for us this season. I've said it so many times here, we've got no style of play. Alfie, this way. We'll walk up here. Sorry, I'm just stopping Alfie, killing himself on the road again. What are you doing, Alfie? Oh. Yeah, he's a, he is happy, believe me, he's happy to see Ronaldo. He says, why is he moving around so slow? And I said, that's just what he does. That's what Ronaldo is now, he maintains himself, he looks after himself on the pitch, he knows when to come and go, he knows when to make that move and today he did it twice for us like I just said and he was the match winner. Simple as, Matic myself was great in midfield, I thought, one of the players that did his job. Forward line lacked a little bit but in the end, what can you say, it's 4-1, top of the league I think, I'm pretty certain we are. Boys just checking we're top of the league. I'm pretty certain United now with that and we are going to cross over here by the way so I'm just directing as well as look at them heads down my head's up looking at phone their heads are down looking at theirs right we're safe okay right moving on right into the nitty gritty I don't know I mean I give him an album out of the match because he probably did his job whereas the others they struggled didn't they who stood out for us today apart from him? Matic had a great game, midfield, but he's the type of player you want to be having an easy game. It's the players up front you want pulling up trees, the ones creating chances, making the keeper work, but honestly, it didn't happen till late. And I don't want to take away 4-1 win. Ronaldo scores the brace on the return, it is a great day, but at the end of the day, there were times there when it wasn't, it was really bad. The first half, shit. I'm not going to lie, it was absolutely awful. The lads were falling asleep next to me here. What for the guy spilling beer on them, pissed up behind us. <laughs> it was a really poor first half. But, it's 4-1. Can we complain? That's three times now we've come up against the low block. Three times we've really struggled. Today, we had the Ronaldo factor. And we got through. We can't keep playing like that. We aren't going to maintain a title challenge. Here's me saying that when we're sitting top of the league after four games. So, yeah. And that's why I said that, really, going forward, I just feel like this team isn't going to play swashbuckling football, but they are really dangerous. And we can beat anyone on our day. And that's what we've done today. We got the result playing bad. We did it against Wolves as well, playing bad. We've had one good performance out of four and we're top of the league. That's what this team is. That's what Man United are right now. Beat anyone on the day and compete with any team on the planet. But consistently, mm. that question is yet to be answered. We're only four in. The League Cup, Champions League are in now as well. So we'll see how he rotates the squad. And see if he's got the balls to maybe drop Sancho. And play Greenwood instead of trying to put Sancho on the left-hand side. When he clearly doesn't play well there so for me I'm buzzing with a win I'm gonna go home chill out look at the league table for a while hope that Chelsea don't better our score and go above us and then sit pretty on top of the league with Ronaldo scoring a brace in a 4-1 win shut up Adam you can't moan can you like share and subscribe people as always thanks for all the comments on the last few videos as well and smashing 20k on the subscriber count going up and up Check out my vlog on the United Stand as well, that's up as well now. Uh, break it all down in depth. Guys, for now, we're out of here. Four one, even when I don't.